Before using the macro amend Rockwell Hardness Tester, you should sign in. There, you can take Rockwell B scale hardness measurements using this uh, 1 16th inch diameter still ball, or Rockwell C measurements using this diamond tipped cone. You insert the indenture you'll be using, and you can turn on the light here so that you can see better. And also, you should set the load for the indenture that you're using. You should set it on 100 for the Rockwell B scale and set it on 150 for Rockwell C. You place your sample on the stage and you gently raise your sample until it comes into contact with the indenture. Once it comes into contact, you will see this needle start moving on this dial. And you want to continue raising your sample until the larger dial goes around three times on the smaller dial on the inside points at the red dot in the center of the dial. And then you reposition the dial so that the needle is pointing at set or RB30 and RC0. And you do that by adjusting here. So if you're confident that you have the right load set and this needle is pointing at set, then just apply the 10 kilogram Meyer load. You are ready to perform a test, press the load application button, and the needle will turn or go around the dial, and when it stops moving after about five seconds, you will release the major load by pressing here on this black handle. And the needle has moved again, but this time it's pointing at a hardness value. You read the red numbers for Rockwell B scale and the black numbers for Rockwell C scale hardness. When you finish the test, you can reposition this specimen. Make sure that your indentations are at least four times the width of the, the diameter of the indentation apart. When you are finished, take away your sample and turn off the light and sign out. Finally, there are a few things that I need to mention. In rooms 150 and in 151, there are first aid kits, and in all three rooms, there are safety manuals posted.